Hey everybody! Happy New Year! It's New Year's Eve here at, at my house. Um, recording on my PC lens because uh, my phone, if you can tell in the top corner, got dropped and got brokened. It works. I just. It broke and I'm angry. It's way it is. Tonight I wanted to. Uh, do a few things. So first thing is we're going to go through kind of a top five list for me. And when I say a top five list for me, originally I recorded this video um, with the camera and then I deleted it, realizing that a couple of the things I had in my top five video were from last year, like right around the end of the year. And so I deleted the video and was going to redo it. And then I realized, whatever, I don't care. The top the, the top figure is still the top figure. So if you want to call this the, the top five of the 2020s, Fine, call it that. But uh, most of this is stuff I bought this year. Uh, a couple of things. One thing I think I technically got in like December of 2020. Whatever. I'm looking at the camera. I should be looking at you. Why am I not looking at you? My, uh, you know, you you come here for the professionalism, and I know that. Anyway, so uh, I kind of wanted to go down a list of my top fives, and I have them listed, and I did use my phone to kind of put this down and uh, not everything here is going to be um, specifically Hasbro it's not specifically Transformers um, everything transforms or is transforming related uh, but there is I believe one one there's one figure that is not um, it's not Hasbro sorry it's not uh, so let's just go down the list uh, so Number five, which is a uh, figure that I was like, okay, we've got how many repaints of this thing now? And then I got it, and I was playing with it, and I love the colors they used, and uh, I love the head sculpt, and uh, thanks to Patriot Prime, uh, he got his own accessory just for him, and that is Puffer. Puffer uh, now comes with his own bong, because if your name is Puffer, you need a bong. And I love the colors on this guy. The, the blue and the white and the, the red across the visor, even the silver arms and the black pipes. I love this guy. This guy's like, I don't know why. Like I have all of this mold. I have two huffers and I I don't have pipes yet because it hasn't shipped yet, but I have all the rest of them. And I love this, this specifically this, the colors, the, the blue, uh, the, the head, the way this one works. I love this one. So this one's my top five. This one's in the top five for the year. Number four. Uh, number four is going to come along with an explanation to a joke for anybody who didn't actually watch the entire video. Number four is going to be Generation 1 Scattershot. Now, if you watched my Generation 1 Scattershot review, you know that I purposely, purposely, did that on purpose. It was a joke. Uh, mistransformed him to give him a massive robot dick. And uh, I just, I, I kept touching it. Just, it was, that was for you. That was to make you uncomfortable because I think it's funny. And I have the sense of humor of a five year old. So um, I will forever be a teenage boy. And uh, that's why I did that. And if you didn't watch the full review and you really think that that's how I transformed it and how I played with that figure, uh, go watch full reviews. What are you doing? So, number four, Generation One Scattershot. Number three. Number three is the Studio Series Slug. His name is Slag. Uh, with Daniel, uh, this Daniel has my legs. It still splays out. It's just he has he has my legs. He has a bad print of my legs, which is why they're mine because I'm not going to sell these to somebody. Uh, so he has my legs, and he's posable, and he can kick you. Oh wait, that's flipped around. He has bendy knees. He can propose. He goes great with the uh, with wheelie if you have the wheelie legs. Uh, pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. But uh, no, this 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 is an awesome figure. Um, I did make a sword for him. I just haven't released it because I don't like it. Uh, I think it's right there. Um, so I do actually have a sword for him, uh, and I might release it this year. In 2022, yeah, uh, but I need to tweak it. So, this this 
this was the only Dinobot that I remember having when I was a kid, and he lives up to every expectation that I had for this. The only thing I don't like is the gun thing, which I can't even get it out now. I don't like this. Like, I would have much preferred they just stubbed this off right there and left that alone. And if you had gun storage, maybe do it this way so that it hid underneath instead of making it the tip of the tail. Uh, and the other reason I don't like it is because it makes the tip of the tail look goofy and too long. They should have made the barrel shorter or and they should have colored this the same. I don't like that it's silver. But, and it's still, it's an amazing figure. It, it, this is an amazing figure and there's some people out there who've made some great upgrades for it to fill in these and stuff. I'm not gonna, I don't like doing fillers. Just a personal preference. Number three. Number two is going to be uh, something I was looking forward to so much and was hoping someday somebody would make a toy of, and that is the Ark. Uh, I love this thing so much, and then when I saw the robot mode, I bought two of them. So I can have one in robot mode, I can keep one in the Ark mode. Um, this is going to get into a little bit of the where things go off on the rails a little bit, because it brings me to one of the fa my favorite things that I've 3D printed this year. And I still haven't finished it or hung it up. But that is this printable arc storage shelf with drawers. Which I love this thing so much. I just I haven't hung it up on the wall yet, and there's a piece that gets printed to the bottom, and I ran out of a color. Uh, so I have an arc to go up on the wall, I have an arc to stand up there, and I have an arc for storage. It's so awesome. And there'll be, a, there'll be a link to this in the description if you want to print it. Um, I, I will be the first one to admit I am I may design a lot of things, uh, but there are designers out there that do amazing, wonderful work, and uh, everyone should know it. Number, wait, was, ARC was number two. Number one. So number one for the year, because holy crap, this thing is awesome. Wait, no, I miscounted. Where am I at now? We're going to call this a top five video. I screwed up. This isn't number one. This would be number two. Would be, ah! Uh, he's not holding it anymore. Um, I got both of the versions of this. This is the KRS-01 King of Sniper by NBK. There's also the KRS-02, which is a kind of Metroplex looking color scheme. It's white and blue. This thing, dude. This thing is so good. Uh, it does have a couple of issues. It does have some clearance things that go on up around the shoulders. Uh, if you watch Kato's view review, you'll see how his arm broke off that you have to be careful with. Uh, I have no problems with either of the ones that I have. This thing is awesome. It is Titan class. It is a full-size sniper rifle. Well, I don't want a full-size. Uh, it's a really good little sniper rifle when you transform it into gun mode um, the, except the stuff it comes with is pretty awesome you can make this this kind of gun out of it um, just to kind of show you the scale of of the of things here uh, this is his gun this is the barrel to the sniper rifle this is the bayonet which if I hold it like this is a decent like that's a big knife this thing is so awesome now for the reason that I've deleted the last video and I've decided I don't care uh, number five number one number one across the board number one figure um, that Hasbro has produced in a very long time I don't care what anybody says is Cyclonus Cyclonus is so good the colors are awesome um, the expression on his face is awesome the transformation is so neat on this um, I love this figure so much. Um, he currently does not have my swords on his back. They're around here somewhere. I was playing with them the other day. Uh, but this, this, this is going to have to be my number one. This would have been my number one last year. I think I got him in like November of last year. I got him a little bit early because I remember I had to cancel the pre-order. Um, I don't care. I love this thing so much. Mine only has like one minor flaw. And if you look right here on the wing, 
you can see that the color is a like the paint is a little bit messed up and again I know this is my crappy webcam and not my phone camera which would have been 4k is what it is so it is New Year's Eve it's uh, about seven something right now um, I could tell you what the worst figure of the year was um, it'll be the worst figure of all time it's Rhinox he's in a box somewhere I'm not going to get him you know how much I hate Rhinox um, really the point of this video was just to kind of throw out some stuff show you some cool stuff that I got um, I, I wish there was a top 10 I could make for for other things of you know because I've, I've been getting into some more stuff uh, top 10 experience this year was definitely uh, hanging out with everybody at TFCon this year it was super awesome um, if you go and look uh, BotCon has finally released the uh, information for the hotels I already booked mine so hopefully I will be at BotCon in uh, Nashville this year hopefully I'll get some other people to go to um, let's, let's see like uh, number one artwork of the year I got this at TFCon I need to frame it this is so good <laughs> you uh wait shout out check them out on instagram i got this at tfcon and i love it and need a frame which is why it's just kind of sitting over here because i need a frame because of course i do um that's about it for that part for, for the next part of this video um is a thank you from me to you for all the support and everything that uh, i've received this year uh this last couple years have been pretty rough for everybody. So, from my family to yours, uh, thank you. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.